Hi, my name is Larry Newman. I'm an attorney. I'm located in Ithaca, New York. And today I'd like to talk to you about what happens if you're found guilty of the two DWIs that you were charged with. Well, there's people that don't know this, but when you get charged with two DWIs, I'm talking about there's a common law DWI just based upon the police officer's observations of your behavior or you did any field side testing. That's called common law DWI. That's 1192 subsection 3 mental and physical inability to operate a car as a reasonably prudent driver. But there's a second DWI that you get, 1192 subsection 2, which is based upon a breath test or a blood test called DWI per se, based upon a breath alcohol measurement that gets interpreted into a blood alcohol concentration. So you have to understand if you have those two DWIs, generally speaking, if you just plea, you end up pleading guilty to one of them. What happens if you go to trial? You could be found guilty of both of them because they're two separate offenses. They're two separate crimes. This is not double jeopardy. Some people say, well, I can't be found guilty of the same crime twice. True, but these are two separate crimes. One's based specifically on a breath or a blood measurement of your alcohol concentration, and one is based upon the observations of how you're physically moving, walking, talking, and doing any of the testing that they give you. So if you're found guilty of both, what are the problems? Number one is you're going to have increased fines. Of course, you're going to have double the fines. But the second part that some lawyers may not tell you or may not even be aware of is if you're found guilty of both the DWIs, back at the Department of Motor Vehicles, they have criteria. I call it the Wizard of Oz over there because sometimes behind the curtain, we don't know what they're doing. They have this thing called negative units, not just points which are seen on the outside, but negative units on the back end. Two DWIs in the same date, they probably are not going to authorize a conditional license. That means you're going to be without any type of license privileges if you're found guilty of both those DWIs. To some people, that is a significant punishment, and they don't recognize or they don't realize, they don't know going into it, if they're found guilty of those two DWIs, then they're not going to have any type of license privilege. And if somebody needs their license, especially upstate, to drive their car, they are going to be SOL. If you have any questions about your DWI case, please give me a call. This is what I do. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions.